Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, back doing a best of three Kamigawa Neon Dynasty draft. All right, probably taking the rare here. Great card. Lizard Blades has double strike, gives double strike at a pretty reasonable cost. And there's not a whole lot of crazy stuff in here. Other cards I like. Mm, I mean, Kunai's playable removal. Scrounger's good for red black. Artifact he builds. Crab's good. Wincon that can counter spells. Seasons of Renewal is good. Reality Heist is playable. Silencer's playable. But yeah, take the blades. All right. Well, I love me some Seismic Wave, so I think we're going to take that. Built in two for one value. Often I get two for ones off of it and feel pretty good about it. Much better than Soken Zan, which is the weakest of the legendary land cycle. Lethal Exploit in here, playable. Kami's playable. Not a huge Essence Capture fan in this format. People seem to really be on the suit up train nowadays, though, but that's cool. All right, what shall we take here? I'm thinking about just taking the automaton. Leaves us open to both black, red, and red, blue artifacty builds, which I think are the best for automaton. Imperial Oath is in here, and Intercessor's Arrest is some pretty good removal. I really like the automaton, though. I think it's a strong card. Leaves us a bit more open, I think, taking the automaton too. Naturalist is very good. Takanuma Abandoned Mire is certainly playable. Repel the Vile is playable. I like Tales of Master Sashiro, but yeah, we'll take automaton. Well, Blossom Prancer is a real good card. <clears throat> Seeing that pick four might be a sign too. I don't play red green very often though. So I don't know if it matters. I mean Boston Prancer is just so good. I think you take it anyway, but yeah, something to think about. Tamio's completion in here too. Igonjo Exemplar, both are good, but I'll take the Prancer. Hmm. Flame Discharge, that's a good one. Another Intercessor's Arrest, but I like Discharge quite a bit. At worst, a shock if you have a modified creature, which is nice. Only scales up from there. Rugged Highlands, some fixing in here. Brute Suit did actually play well for me, like the one or two times I've played it. Malicious Malfunction, more of a sideboard card. Hmm, seeing a lot of white in here. Well, Kitsune's playable, but I don't like it all that much. Decoy is playable artifact. I mean, the best card, maybe the Fall of Lord Conda. I actually don't like this card that much anymore. It's gone down in my book a fair share, but it does deal with... I mean, it deals with big things. It just doesn't deal with little things, and that can be a problem. But I suppose we take it here. Ooh, Reactor. There's a fun one. Love Dragon Spark Reactor. So I'll take that. Over Crab, Intervention, Samurai, Boar. Boar is good too, but I'll take the Reactor. Mmm, Reckoner Raid in Black. Well, that's a good card. Certainly better than Simeon Sling. There's Tamio's Completion in here, which is playable removal. I think I might just take the Reckoner Raid. I really like this card. This card is impressively strong for one mana. So, Scrounger versus Songshaper. Uh, I mean, Songshaper beats down better, but Scrounger has better synergy with, like, Reactor.
And I guess it can fix and splash. Yeah, I guess we'll take Scrounger. Well, I'll take the Lethal Exploit over Soaking Zan too. We have ways to modify with Lizard Blades already, and Automaton can get modified, so that's cool. Centipede is fine. Or we could just take the caves. Maybe the caves. I've cut centipede before. And getting some free fixing is always nice. Guess we can take an Ember Keeper. I don't really like it. But. Eh, maybe Debts of the Kami is more of a sideboard card I could consider playing. Alright, Rugged Highlands for splashing otherwise ambitious assault for beatdown but no we'll take the highlands i doubt we're gonna splash prancer but it's all right uh, invoke the ancients well it's gonna be a tough one to cast well life of toshiro umazawa is a great card ambusher and song shaper in here good chance we can wield the song shaper so that's good restoration or replication specialist rather Great card. But I feel pretty good about getting the life of Toshiro Umizawa here. So we can take Kami's Flare. Soken Zan Smelter has great synergy with uh, uh, Scrounger. But we probably take Kami's Flare. I mean, Virus Beetle is also good with Smelter. But I'm going to take Kami's Flare. Great card. All right, can take Prowler. There's Invoke Despair, but it's a tough one to cast. We do have a Bloodfell Caves and a Scrounger, though, so potentially we could cast it. It could. I could try it. Otherwise, I'm taking Prowler, which is a fine card, too. I'll take the Despair. I think we have a decent shot at actually casting it with uh, Life of Toshiro Mazao. Umizawa, which can help cast it, Scrounger, and a Bloodfell Cave, so I think we can do it. Who knows, maybe we get a Network Terminal too, make it that much easier. I'll take a Virus Beetle here. I don't love it, but it's playable. Better with Ninjas. Might, I mean, we still have a chance to get Ninjas too. Ooh, Reinforced Ronin, that's... Great card. At its very best here with our reactor plan. Hopefully we can find some more. Oh, it's great with the Tomaton too. So we already have the two really good synergies with it, which is nice. Synthesizer in here as well, which is also good, but I want the Rion or the Ronin rather. Let's see. So Unforgiving one with like Lizard Blades can get back Ronin. If it dies, I don't have that many artifacts or enchantments, right? I've got six artifacts, two enchantments for Kami of Terrible Secrets. Probably just take the Shadow Walker. It's a fine card. Um, you can get a lot of damage in. Probably worth it. Hmm. Never been a big Clawing Torment fan. And it's less good in this format with ninjutsu and stuff, but Simeon Sling has kind of has let me down before too. I might just take it anyway. Or I can just take Clawing Torment because it's there are matches where it's good. How many creatures do I have? I've got six creatures, but really it's like seven, eight. So only eight creatures. Alright, well. I guess we do need some more. Okay, Steelbreaker looks good here. It's going to be good with uh, Scrounger. And decent with Beetle, I guess. All right. Song Shaper. We'll take it over the decoy, I think. It gets bigger. It's good with Ronin. Ah, Smelter. Good wheel here. 
really good for our deck with the Scrounger as well. And Beetle. Hmm. All right. Getting some Sonic Shapers. That's good. So as of now, probably don't need the Clawing Dormant. Infiltrator, not really what this deck wants, but neither is. I mean, Enormous Energy Blade's not very good either, so I guess we'll just... Reckoner's Bargain or Shattered State's Era. I guess we can do Reckoner's Bargain as a sideboard option. All right, pack three. Ooh, Eater of Virtue is a great card. Can we even get abilities? It can give Menace, right? No, oh, it does have Menace, good. So this dude can give Menace to it. Otherwise we have Double Strike we can give to it. But Lizard Blades already gives it, but whatever. Then you can have maybe two dudes that have it. Uh, I guess we don't have that many abilities. It doesn't give Ward or anything. Either way, it's a cheap artifact that's cheap to equip. Very good card. Kami's Flare and Voltage Surgeon here, too. Wow. I'm going to still take the Eater of Virtue, but those are both good. So we're up to how many creatures now? 10, 12? Reality chip's good, geez. Um, I don't think we're splashing it though, so I guess we take another lethal exploit. We need three more creatures. At least we have a decent amount of ways to modify now with Eater, Lizard Blade, Automaton. Is that it? Thought we had more than that. All right, Prowler or another Smelter or another Beetle. Well, how many actual things do we have to sack for Smelter? Beetle, Scrounger, uh, Treasure Tokens, rather. I mean, Prowler's kind of cool. I guess we got Smelter back last time, so I might be able to get it back again. But the 3-1 aspect of it, I might just take Smelter, but it's not an artifact either. I'm going to take Smelter anyway. Rabbit Battery, wow, that's a good one. And Tempered and Solitude in here, jeez. Those are both incredibly strong cards. I love Tempered and Solitude, but I'm going to take Rabbit Battery because it's just... Very, very strong. And it's awesome with Eater of Virtue. Give haste to that. Yeah. Another Song Shaper, but no. Now we're taking Reckoner Raid. Reckoner Raid, even in a deck that where artifacts matter, is just so good. Such a good turn one play. Another Reactor. Wow. This deck looks fun. Iron of Boar or... Goshen Tie of Ancient Wars. Well, this can kind of... I like that this can kind of just edge your opponent out one damage at a time. Definitely looking like a 16 land deck. Might end up cutting the Shadow Walker. I don't know yet. Another Scrounger. Wow. With uh, two Reactors and Steelbreaker... And uh, two smelters, yeah. That's pretty cool. Shrine Steward, do we even have? I guess we can find Ancient Wars. But Voltage Surge, too? Wow. This deck looks great. We're definitely a too many good things dot deck here. Like, I don't think Ogre even makes the deck. I don't think Sling makes the deck. 
I don't even know if Virus Beetle makes the deck, but I want this. I want some Sack Fodder for uh, Smelter, but we have to find cuts. I guess I could cut the Song Shaper instead. I don't know what I like more, though. Song Shaper hits harder than Virus Beetle, so I might like it more. All right. So easy 16 land deck. And we've got more red than black, which is going to make Invoke Despair tougher to cast. But we have two Scroungers and Life of Toshiro Amazawa. I really think we can cast Invoke Despair in this deck. So maybe... It's a lot of red. But with four black, it does limit me a little bit. Maybe I do cut a red, because we don't have any double red. I guess that's good. And then I can cut, uh, so I've got 15, 17, 18 creatures. We can cut ogre. I don't know if I need three Song Shapers. I can probably cut at least a couple of them. So that brings us to 15 creatures. So we should probably cut a non-creature. Uh, let's see. So we have Surge, Discharge, Eater, Blades, Flare, Double Reactor. We can cut an exploit, probably. I think I'm all right with that. All right. Definitely a good-looking deck. How many artifacts did we end up with? 12 artifacts, but that's nice. All right. Here it is. Black-red artifact aggro. One of my favorite archetypes in the format. We'll see you around one. Okay. Play first. Yeah. Good keep. Even three black sources already, too. Nice. Life of Toshira. Doing his job. So we'll do Ronin. And attack for four here. So I could have cast, uh, I can cast Invoke Despair next turn.
So we can attack with both Seismic Wave, the Trash Bot, and then hopefully set up for an Invoke Despair. Well, I guess if I invoke now, they have to sack it. Yeah, I guess we're fine. So, I can search the scrounger. Which isn't bad. Um, yeah, I guess we do. So, they can uh, sack the samurai to give indestructible. Um, I think I'll just play the eater. So I left up Seismic Wave in case, but they've been mana screwed this whole time, so.
So they're playing white black. They only got three lands that whole game. They've got at least a few artifacts. I never really played Born to Drive much in this format, but it's kind of deceptively good. Clawing Torment does deal with X1s, but I don't know if we need it. Lethal Exploit looks good here. Deals with that Kitsune and the Samurai, so probably want to keep that around. Yeah, we can run it back. Good hand here. I think I can take some hits from Moth Rider Patrol for a little bit. Hmm. Could have gotten a two for one there, but I'm willing to uh, take three damage in the air, I think. I'd rather save my removal for spicier things. No. I suppose now I can kill it. And I guess we can do the virus beetle too. lands they're playing. I'm playing an untapped land so I can use Goshentai's ability. Pretty fortunate they've been mana screwed here because we flooded out. I don't have any modified creatures either.
All right. We'll see for round two. All right, round two. We'll keep this good looking hand. So I think we'll just take this out now and do a Reckoner Raid. see Game one there, playing the mirror match. Pretty similar looking deck. Uh, Reckoner's Bargain against Removal. They didn't show us any removal spells. We showed them a lot. Clawing Torment. Uh... Deals with the sling, that's all we saw though, that it deals with. Lethal exploit does have some targets. Yeah. Uh, seismic wave slightly worse here, I guess, but they have, they certainly have non artifact creatures too. But, yeah, probably less. I mean, the fact that you can hit face with it still probably makes it better than Lethal Exploit, I would I would guess. Okay, I think we'll just run it back. Good hand. Hmm. 
a good one. Dang, similar deck here. All right, we'll do Swamp. We'll go exploit the Gauntlet. Then we'll Ronin. Reactor number two, huh? Let's see. Uh, I think we probably need to do, probably play both of these. So we'll go land Ronan. does keep us at least two turns away from uh, Invoke Despair, but that's all right. At least we have a chump blocker now. Let's see. I think we go reactor, song shaper. Is there any way I can attack? Probably not. I mean, if I attack... Then they could move the eater, play an artifact, and have a lethal there. And just five damage there. So I guess I wouldn't technically die. I could still chump the automaton. I might need to attack here. I mean, if they have Iron Hoof Boar, I guess they get us too, but... Iron of Boar removal, and they get us, but I still think we probably go for it this way. I mean, they would have killed us with Boar anyway, so. Alright, go to the next game here. Anything I want to do differently. They still didn't really show us any removal, so that's good. Clong Torment is good if they put the guide bot counter on something else, but uh, I think we run it back. I mean, Invoke Despair still would have been good that game. All right. 
I guess we'll keep. Sand needs some help, but I don't feel like mulliganing this one. All right, well, opponent mulled to five. That's helpful. Played the swamp first just because we have invoke despair in here, but we don't have it in hand, nor do we have nearly enough black mana to do anything with it anyway, so. All right, well. I think we just kill it. Could have actually waited, and it might have been smarter. Yeah, you know, in hindsight, I probably should have just played the Scrounger. Yeah, because then I could have set up for... That's true. But they would have gotten the Synthesizer value, so who knows. I'm not going to sack the Scrounger, so we'll just get in for two. Now we can at least, like, kill their dudes, make treasure, make three ones. It's pretty good. Mm, it's a tough one. So, I guess I'll make a treasure. Could have gotten in for one damage, and we are technically an aggro deck, but I don't know. Builds towards that invoke despair. And we have sack outlets for treasure, too, so could be useful. Hmm, there's a good one. So... I mean, we'll be able to take care of the Automaton with Flame Discharge at some point, so might as well get the Goshen Tai Ancient War down. news is they can't cast that so it's nice sure might as well so I mean, I can Seismic Wave the 2-2. Two -two. I think we just hold up for now. Probably want to keep it back as a blocker, I guess. Well, actually, I'm going to make the treasure. They get in for five here, but... 
Looks like they probably would have gotten in the, for that anyway, so. That's a real good one. Let's do Steelbreaker. Ronan. So, I can discharge that. I'm trying to think if I need my scrounger here, though. I don't think I do, but I'll just... I'll just discharge the ogre, I think. See for round three. All right, this hand is acceptably keepable. Reactor into Goshen Tai. Good draw there. Play out our black mana first for Invoke. Ooh. I just love it when Life of Toshiro does something. I do. Alright, I think we'll just jam a Goshen tie here. Next turn we can go Reactor Beetle. Hmm. Tassu Nar is a good one. That's good. Um, guess we're going to attack first.
let's see here. So I don't have enough mana to do scrounger plus reactor. So I think we'll just go this scrounger and pass. Let's see. Mm, I'll take it. Kind of feels like they have something, so. So I just use the reactor now, or do I keep trying to build it up? I mean, I can't really attack anyway, although if I draw an artifact, I can with the Song Shaper. Ooh, that's a good one. I guess I see the issue though. All right, we'll hold off a turn then. Wait, do I have enough to do both? Oh, I do. Five, because I've got this. So I need nine mana. So three, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I can do both. All right, well, I guess we Yeah, so we'll reactor kill the Toad Rider. Well, let's make sure they tap the mana correctly here. And then we'll do the Invoke Despair. Cool.
they have a good amount of spot removal in there. It makes me want to bring in the Reckoner's Bargain. I think it'll actually be good. How good is the Seismic Wave? Well, based on the little they showed us, not amazing. I do think Reckoner's Bargain looks good, though. Soul Transfer, Rest, Embrace, Intervention, Ink. I mean, they've got just oodles of uh, spot removal, so I feel like Bargain's going to do some work for us. Lethal Exploit, though, can kill Tatsunari if we have uh, a modified creature, but only if we have a modified creature, whereas Seismic Wave just straight up kills it, so yeah. Plus we have, yeah, we might just cut the other exploit. <clears throat> I like exploit, but I like having access to bargain here. It's a lot of value gained from, in response to your removal spell, your premium removal spell, I'll gain life and draw cards. It's pretty good. You end up netting some cards out of it. I wonder if you only end up netting a card out of it. Let's see. They lose a removal. You lose a creature. and But you can also... It's nice. You can also sack treasure. That is relevant. I'm okay with it. I think it'll work out okay. I do think exploit's pretty good too. In this match, but... Yeah, it's a keep. No red mana, but I think it's worth keeping. I guess we just play a uh, beetle, rather. We have a bargain, so if I miss a land drop, I can use bargain. So I didn't miss the land drop. I could just do Life of Toshiro then. All right. Nice draw there. So maybe in response, if they do removal, we can bargain. That would be good value. So I think I might just do reactor here. Like, if I do the Steel Breaker, they probably just kill it right away. And I'm doing okay right now. I mean, leaving up Bargain's pretty slick in response to their removal. So I have a Surge for that. I think we're going to want to kill that. So I guess I can... I was going to say I can sack the reactor to bargain, but it probably makes more sense to just surge the Toad Rider and sack. Well, would I rather have the two cards, though? I have the open mana now. Hmm. Can't decide what I like more. I think I'm just gonna, I'll just bargain. Well, no, I, I'm gonna use that as sack fodder. Tough decision, I know. Ooh, eater, That's a good one. 
So we'll surge the... I guess I can wait on that too, huh? I can do this. Um, I think I'm just going to discharge the Prowler here. So if they try and kill Memory, I can sack it in response too. Oh, sure. They want to loot. So, uh, let's see. I guess we just play the caves. I play the battery. And... I guess I pass. I can't reconfigure the battery because it takes a red. I wish that countered the uh, soul transfer, but I don't think it does, unfortunately. Truly unfortunate. All right, so we can go land. So we got six. We can do blade. Yeah. So, at least if the battery dies, our Eater Virtue gets a lot of abilities. That's too bad. They're at four. Hmm. 
Hmm. So... Oh, let's see. One card left in hand, huh? So I can... Steelbreaker... Equip battery... And I suppose I can attack and still... Uh, I see the problem, though. But... They don't have lethal on the backswing, so... Maybe it's okay to make them chump here. I guess I might as well. Wish I had trample here. Didn't make itself unblockable. You have to be able to... Oh, they had another enchantment. Well, that's too bad for us. You know, it looked like we were winning it for a long time there, but... Ultimately did not get there. Um... Do I want to bring in Lethal Exploit? This is the real real challenging question now. I'm not sure if I do. It's the tough part. So, I'll go to game three, and I really got to debate whether I need to bring in Lethal Exploit. It's a real, real tough question. Because I've only got... I've got a relatively low creature count. I still think Bargain's pretty good. Probably need to take out those chefs too, though. But I need to keep pressure at the same time. It's a it's a real real dilemma. I think I run it back. It's a real tough choice here. I need to be able to have a good balance of pressure and removal, or I think we get we end up getting outvalued. So it's a it's a real tough one. This hand's pretty good at least. So, I think I dropped the Scrounger first. Although, then they can end up possibly sacking it to the chef. That's true. I don't care. I'm actually gonna... It's just... There's no reason to not do it this way, I don't think. Because with our removal, we need to, we need to capitalize on those three ones. I think.
All right. So Ronan's cool. Let's do scrounger number two. And well, I guess I can attack with a scrounger if I really want. I'll pass though. So we'll go land, life. So they can sack it in response. We'll make some treasure. Oh, they didn't sack it in response, huh? Oh, that was unexpected. or something? I don't know. I don't know why they're not sacking things. get uh, farewelled here I kind of feel like we are aren't we I'm always playing or I'm always worried about farewell hmm. well I guess I didn't have any reason to be worried about farewell so that's cool
in second response, but I think we need to deal with that thing. So I did it that way so my first strike guy stays alive. Otherwise, I think they would sack the selfless samurai to it. Dockside Chef's a real game winner, unfortunately. Soul transfer or what? No, they already played that. Was I supposed to attack with everything there? <laughs> I might have been. I guess I still have lethal. I have no idea how I won that game. My opponent drew, they must have gotten flooded so hard. How many cards did they draw off Dockside Chef? Like four or five? I'm shocked we won that match. Or that game, rather. Match, not so much, but that game in particular, yes.
They didn't have the enchantment for Tatsunari. They didn't have they didn't have any removal. So that was just crazy. All right, let's do some pack one pick ones here. All right, pack one pick one. Ooh, I love both of these uncommons a lot. Uh, I'd probably go with the Life of Toshiro. It's tough though. I love Tempered and Solitude. It's a great card. All right, pack one, pick one here. I guess I could go Silver Fur Master. It's a gold card. I don't like first picking that. Otherwise, I'd have to take Tanuki though. Yeah, there's enough upside to Silver Fur Master. You just take it. If ninjas are open, you're pretty happy to have it. All right, pack one, pick one here. Easy Circuit Mender. I love this card. It's very good, and it leaves you completely open to a lot of different archetypes. All right, pack one, pick one here. We've got a Rest, Kunai, Captain. Captain is pretty slick for the Samurai deck, and I do really like the Samurai deck. You know what? I'd, I'd be okay taking Captain here. It's a five drop. It's expensive, but, I mean, I like the Samurai Warrior deck, and sorry, Captain is excellent in that deck. All right, pack one, pick one here. It's like Reactor versus Ancient Wars for me. Probably just Reactor. I've got a soft spot for the card, and I think it's a not too hard to build around card. All right, here I'd take Beside You Reaches Skyward over Twisted Embrace. This card's just incredibly strong. I don't know how just a big fat Reach creature does it every time, but it seems to. And pack one, pick one here. I would probably go Samurai over Prowler. Love this card. Super versatile. And really good. All right. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you for the next one.